we're going to go over some simple, helpful tips for having a successful online meeting. Some of the things we're going to talk about might seem a little bit silly or like they should be intuitive, but these are pieces of advice that people commonly forget, especially when they're in front of a camera and might be a little bit nervous. First, when it comes to your conference room, make sure that you're keeping it completely clean. The more clutter and wires and trash in your conference room, the less people are going to focus on what you're talking about and the more they're going to focus on what the conference room looks like and the distracting images around it. If you keep an organized presentation and a fresh conference room space, it ensures that people are concentrating on what you're talking about and not concentrating on the disheveled appearance. Remember also that you're on camera and you're probably in front of a microphone. So everything that you do, people can see and hear, and often they're going to hear it more magnified than if they were in the room. So don't eat, don't smack your gum, and don't slurp your coffee. People can see and hear everything that you're doing. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is how expensive webinars can really be. So if you think about all the preparation that you've put into it, creating a presentation, researching a topic, practicing, and everything else, it becomes a lot of time, and time is money. However, if you think on the other side of things, how expensive it is to get up to maybe 50 middle managers attending your webinar and taking an hour or two out of their day to attend, if you take that hourly rate, it becomes rather expensive. And these people are attending because they're interested in your topic and they want to learn useful information. So make sure that you're on time, that you're prepared, and that you're concise. So that way your attendees feel like they're getting a lot out of the webinar. Productive people are far more happy and they'll keep coming back. Public speaking can be nerve wracking and when people get nervous, they tend to ramble. Practice to make sure that you feel comfortable with your topic and that you don't bore your audience to death with repetitive information or stumbling over your words. You don't want to go too fast and you don't want to go too slow. You have to find just the right tempo for presenting. Video conferencing and webinars are difficult at first, especially if you're new to them, but with time and practice, they can become second nature. Don't stress too much. If you follow these tips, you're going to have a successful, engaging meeting. With preparation and practice, video conferencing eventually becomes a breeze. And for more helpful tidbits and resources, visit our support section. Thanks for watching.